as I said, it's going to be planes. You can see it here. The civilizations are Huns for Tato and Aztecs for FedEx. Tato is playing in red, FedEx in green. And yeah, okay, I uh, remembered it right. Planes does not have all the wood in the middle like Atacama. You have some scattered forests and way less uh, wood in general compared to Arabia. So right now we're on the point of view for Tato here, player in red. He has the berries in the back, gold pretty much in the back I'd say. These few trees here block it a little but nothing terrible. Boars in the back, that is nice because it is really easy to um, lame boars on this map. Four deers in the front, but they can be pushed. It's about one screen distance here for me, as you can see. Stone at the side, main stone in the front, secondary gold in the front, but what you really want is the main gold in the back. So, since we're talking about uh, planes here, I think this is an okay map for uh, Tato. His wood, though. Yeah, I was gonna say this is probably his best bet and he just built the lumber camp there. Looks very good to me, considering what he has, right? Okay, let's take a look at FedEx. He's playing as Mayans, berries at the side, gold in the back, nice one. Deer, definitely closer, and in the back, main stone in the back, small forest here. Boar at the side, what else? Where's the second boar? Here, in the back. So if he leaves in this boar first, then this one is not l very likely to be stolen. I think this will be an even matchup, not too much laming going on. But then again, it's the, uh, the eternal fight, right? Aztecs probably considered the best civilization. Oh, I guess that was uh, an unintentional kill here for FedEx. Does not matter that much. Oh, but I guess he forgot to <laughs> to build a house. Yeah, he finished it just when the villager got created, so this is fine. Oops, the eagle got a bit close to the town center, got away with our 17 HP, that is okay. Not the end of the world. Mill is fine, the villagers can still walk around if they have to, which they sometimes do, because they're idiots. We all know how villagers, well, organize themselves. If you build a mill, a lumber camp, they just decide to go on the other side for absolutely no reason, but that's what they do. Will Fiat, Fiat, Jesus, FedEx, um, heal the eagle? No, he won't. The reason why I probably said Fiat, because I was told that Hassan and Fiat would play, maybe, today, and then, just when I thought, okay, no more streams today, I relax on the evening, I got called into this one, and it's a best of nine, and I'm still not going to complain, because... Hell, it is uh, Tato versus FedEx. I would probably watch it anyway, so I might as well stream it. So, Huns versus Aztecs. I really don't like Aztecs Wars. I'm not the biggest fan of Mayans against Aztecs, but I do like Huns versus Aztecs or Mayans because there are so many options, right? Um, the Miso players could go forward. Um, the Hans players can uh, can do anything, really. So it's always good games, I think. And we definitely won't see any walling like on a green version of Arabia. That's just impossible on uh, planes. Four villagers going forward or what? He's not on gold, so... Nah, never mind, he's just going for the deer. I 
thought he was forwarding. The last game I streamed was um, Arma against Viper, and Arma always sent four villagers forward, so I'm probably still used to that now. It's just for the deer here. Let's um, check the exploration for FedEx. Will he see this dead deer? Yes, he sees it. But it doesn't seem like uh, he's interested. Hello? Hello, Mamanu, are you with me? Hi there, sorry about that. I, uh, brother was calling me, uh, so... That is uh, <laughs> alright. I wasn't expecting it, but it was a nice call anyway. But. That's yeah. not a problem at all. I just uh, described the maps, or uh, the different, very different options you have with uh, hunts against um, Aztecs. Uh, are you in the game? Yeah, I'm in the game right now. Watching okay. It was, uh, cool. So yeah, we can see the uh, militia from FedEx moving in. Not doing much so far. Doing some good harass there. But interesting, he, he chose Aztecs on planes. I would, I would find that an interesting matchup. I feel the Huns have got great mobility in the Castle Age and the Feudal Age against the uh, Aztec. So it's going to be like a tale of different halves. I think in the first half, I can see Tato doing very well. And then maybe late game could have some issues with the Eagles if it gets that far. Microphone activated. I would be surprised to see that, because what um, mm. Aztecs do is they wall up and go fast Imperial, but how are you supposed to wall up on this map, right? Exactly. Perhaps it's a sort of different variation of strategy from FedEx. We could be seeing a more Castle Age play from the Aztec, but uh, I think it'd be very difficult. That's four scouts in total now for Tato. Is that going to be enough? A lot of micro going on as well. Yeah, looking very good for Tato now. Brilliant fight there. Oh, he got yeah. a scout. So that's probably a small win, but still overall good fight for Tato, I would say. So the scouts are on their way. Let's see what they could probably or potentially hit. Uh, that's four on berries, but rather close to the TC. Gold and wood look much more vulnerable. Yes, I, I definitely agree. And that fight was quite interesting. I, I think very struggled for FedEx to get those units to attack for one thing, and fighting near the woodland of those villages was just begging for them to be involved. And five militia for one scout, I think Tata got a big, uh, big win on that one. Yeah, definitely. Well, but FedEx is warned now. He could fast wall his gold, but is he? What is he doing? He'll probably lose a villager. Is... Yep. Yeah, villager down. Two spearmen out. Oh, but he's finding the right angle there. Nice one. Yeah. Beautiful angle there, actually. And just, ah, oh, brilliant play there. Just pulling the aggression from those two spearmen and popping that last bill off. Yes, he got it. Two bills. And another that one. Yeah. That couldn't be any more perfect there. All right, I said it earlier, guys. Um. Please tell us whether the volume is fine. Again, I uh, had to plug this headset into another PC, so I don't know whether it's fine. Just tell us if someone is too loud or too low. Um, but back to the game. FedEx trying to wall off here. That's a very long line of buildings towards his wood. Looks fine so far. Is that seven scouts for Tato? He were Probably get bloodlines for those then. Ooh, look at this though, lots of skirmishes and about what, five, six villager forward for Tato here? I'm gonna go for a tower oh, and woodline. And... Yeah, I just noticed. No bloodlines yet. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't ask for a quality. Uh, I just asked for the volume. Uh, never mind. Um, oh, come on. Avoid the spearman there. Just kill that one spear. Yes, Sentinel is going back. Good tower. Will the tower for FedEx go up? That's a question, because he might lose or sacrifice a lot of hills there. Oh, this is such a good fight for Toto. On both ends. The tower is killing, the skirms are killing. This is... This is rape. Sorry for the term. We, <coughs> we actually agreed not to use it, but this is... This is harsh. FedEx yeah, lost, uh, a lost a lot there. Seven villagers down. Look at the idols. Eleven. Well, now it's reduced, but that is just that was pretty bad. And eighteen to eight on military. This is just a perfect, perfect engagement that was for, for Tato. Just look at the score difference. It's um, wow. What is it? Five hundred? Yes. Score difference five hundred now. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, pretty big, and again, I mean, you can see actually FedEx having a few archers in there, and, and you can see Tato go very much skirm scout, and that's a lot better, I think, in this, especially on planes. We keep seeing a lot of archers, you know, like Hera playing as well, and that was a mistake, and this could be the same mistake here. Yeah. And GG called. So, yeah, my impression was not entirely wrong. This was really a terrible fight for FedEx there in uh, in his wood line. The tower and the skirms really did their, their work there. All right. Yeah, it was very interesting, actually, that fight. I mean, actually, FedEx actually had the upgrades on those, on those archers and skirms. Didn't have enough of them and maybe had enough spears. It was just a very messy fight from him and... It, it, Again, if he had actually more of a skirmish build with a few more spears thrown in, I think that fight could have gone better. And that tower, well, I'm not too sure if it was actually the right call there, but then again, he was like, that's his only good wood line. And, well, better play from, from Tato, I think, in that map. And a better choice of Sip, I think, as well. 25 kills against 11. So that is one number here, or one ratio. Um, 3,700, so food was rather similar, wood rather similar. Yeah, it was really just the micro. I think the um, the Drush defense was very, very well micro there by Tato, and then uh, the, the tower and the flush uh, fight was awesome. Yeah. Okay. My booby just crashed for some reason. That's what's to happen. Uh, if I see you again in the yeah. tournament lobby, then seconds. I can... can